so in this video i am going to talk about the av block or the head block and these are the topics or these are the headings under which you have to write the answer that includes the definition in form of introduction and etiology types if present clinical features investigations and management so av block basically is slowing down of the impulses from atria to ventricles and the gateway is av node so so av block is when the impulses are generated from the sn node they go to the av node and they get filtered out in the form of decrease in the impulses and then it goes to the ventricles so whenever there is slowing down whenever there is slowing down of the impulses from sn node to the ventricles it is known as av block right uh now we talk about the etiology it can be because of drugs it can be because of mi it can be because of and surgery hydrogenic or infective endocarditis and there are many causes now talking about the types this is important and this is where i am going to focus on types and its investigation based on the ecg so types are first degree av block second degree and third degree third degree means the av is blocking all the impulses generated from the sn node and none of them are reaching to the ventricles so ventricles have to beat on their own in second degree av block there are two types type 1 and 2 also known as mobitz type 1 and mobitz type 2 and this is also known as venke back that is mobitz type 1 second degree av block now looking over the clinical features some of them are fainting dizziness light headedness fatigue shortness of breath or chest pain now we have many investigations but mainly done are ecg and his bundle electrogram first i will be talking about the ecg this is the normal ecg where the pr interval is shown and it is generally in between 0.1 to 0.2 second that is less than 1 big square now in type 1 there is slowing of the conduction through av node so the pr interval will increase and it will increase for more than 1 big square so this is type 1 heart block now in type 2 type 2 heart block mobitz type 1 is there and mobitz type 2 is there in mobitz type 1 we have progressively increase in the pr interval until there is an p wave which is not conducted so here as you can see here first where the pr interval is this much here it's increased here it's more increased compared to the previous one and there is an p wave isolated p wave which is not conducted that is type 1 now here as you can see in the mobitz type 2 the pr interval or the r interval is constant right here 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 but there is a non conducted p wave the p wave is not conducted here not conducted here here too so this is mobitz type 2 here p wave 1 p wave 2 and third so out of 3 2 are conducted that is 3 to 2 fixed mobitz type 2 second degree heart block and in type 3 that is complete heart block it is also known as complete heart block ev node is not sending any impulses from sn node to ventricles so the atria and the ventricles both both of them they beat independently atria beats at higher rate ventricles beats at lower rate and there are two rhythms associated with it one is ventricular rhythm second is junctional rhythm but at this moment this are not to be mentioned so the only thing is av node is completely inhibiting the impulses from the sn node now the second investigation was his mendel electrogram and here we calculate the time taken from atria to his and his to purkinje individually the normal timings are less than 130 milliseconds and less than 55 milliseconds if this is ah 
electrogram is more than 130, it is seen in Mobitz type 1 and HP electrogram is more than 55 milliseconds and it is Mobitz type 2. So this were two investigations useful for the heart block. For management purposes, atropine can be given, beta agonist can be given, both of them will reduce the heart block. So AV conduction will increase and the symptoms will improve or if they are failing, they are not responsive, then we can give the pacing. Pacing can be either temporary or permanent. If after pacing, the heart gets to the normal cycle, we have to remove the pacing. We don't need it anymore. But if even after temporary pacing, the heart rate is not written, we have to give permanent pacing and for that there is a small an intracardiac device pacing device for complete heart block so this was all about heart block